The village was full of green trees, cool and comfortable as how the oasis should be. Surprisingly, there's a small lake right in the middle. In this early morning, a pair of wild ducks were swimming happily in love. The ducklings were learning to dive into the mother's webbed feet, darting like a yellowstone at them. The dead trees trapped foolishly, trolled the seed and left the love of nature blossom to sprout. At this early hour, in the corner of the oasis, three young leaf petals are covered with glittering drops, merged from the ground that promises the provisions of life for tens of months of the oasis inhabitants for three generations ahead. And because almost every door house on the dead mountain garden, even if it's only three bobs down, that means no, no one will start here. Veiled women were passing by carrying jobs. A pile of clothing leading to public wells are located in every area of the residential square cubits. A sack of it headed for dough and twisted respectively. A group of children with messy hair and scared chicks were dragged and scolded to shower. Spices and raw meat are sold by foreigners in a crowded micro. The man became busy with commerce. The shop divider were removed one by one immediately. Life has begun in the Oasis village this morning. Kois was carrying a basket on the black shoulder of his right arm. His other arm was wrapped in cloth. The wound was from falling down on the tree midrib yesterday. All his life, he has been a date picker, and for the first time, his eyes were not alert. His thoughts were unsettled, his body loses balance, crashes, and hits the tree stump. Even though remembering that annoying incident, Kois on the contrary smiled. He did not frown or curse like the usual. Now, on his cheek appeared a red tinge, and the beauty of the oasis was instantly indulged by the light of his eyes. He howled, saying gleefully, Billy Fagget say, seeing the young man who was passing to the village alleys, he will be a beautiful factory. Falling to the morning air, wafting tapping the window, making them tears that seat and wait for the children to come home from the cruelty of war. Choking wife chest, whose face is worried waiting for the husband to come home from dangerous journey. A simple child behind the door that's full of hope, standing and waiting for the father to come back from the market, bringing his favorite toy. Oh! Yesterday's meeting was very pleasant. My eyes are distracted by Layla's peaceful face. I think that is. That's when I immediately fell in love with her. Da da da! A flying ladybug claw comes back. Its wings were stabbed by thorns that time. Pizza before arriving. Falling on its six legs, wrapped around the teller's net. Dying of misery. Not in a flower blossoming into a fruit. Dangling ripe in fights love. Happily, he is watering, picking until it's time. Pity before arriving. Struck by the sharp nails of a night animals. Fallen, rotten in the ground. Na na na, the beautiful season has come. The fragrance touches the roof of the nose, spreading and waving. Not caring, ladybird or fruit, I will never let this candle 
go out. Since that meeting, the feeling of love in Lila's and Coetis' heart grew higher than the sky, deeper and beyond measure like the deepest trough of the oceans. However, the greater the love in their hearts, the stronger their love concept is. What power has Coetis have for he is a poor man? And Lila, who is from the higher class in the village of the Oasis. I have something to say. If this meeting is a sin, let me bear it later. No. No, Kais. Kais, listen. I will never let you on. I'll be with you. Step by step. We through the all punishment together, okay? For real. Just ask the first drop of what's a drop on the sand. In between their feet, they're hidden behind a clam of cactus. The sky bumble, lights and flashes, but clouds roll towards the oasis. The traders were running back and forth in the crowded market. From behind their hiding, they shouted in surprise. A drops dropped with their items. It's strange. This wind seems like it came just like that. A special, in the heat of current prolonged dry season. I beg you not to cry. Look, you made the sky cry too. Anyways, I have something for you. This is for you. For me? How beautiful. I hope this flower can make you remember how much I love you. Thank you. Flashback to six months ago. Even though that morning, six months ago, the sky was pouring heavy rain when Lila was sobbing in the room for her matchmaking with another man her parents chose. Get married. Unless it's Caius, and why this matchmaking have to happen to me? This is your father's decision. There's nothing I can do. No. No matter what, I don't want to get married or life with another man. I really love Caius, mom. I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> That's what I can do. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Flashback to 10 months ago. That night, 10 months ago, the sky also didn't stop. Pulling what's in her niche when Layla was sobbing in her mother's love for her about his anger and the prohibition of meeting with the young man she loved. The family was respectable to the skies in Layla's relationship. Don't you ever meet with that poor man ever again. We are from a respectable family and we don't deserve being side by side with him. that name ever again. I don't want to hear it. Father. Ah. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I understand what's in your heart. But no, I'm no. And there's nothing I can do. I'm sorry. But don't worry. I will always love you. And I 
over here as my baby girl. So please don't miss that. You are my happiness. <laughs> Weather has never been this strange this year. The residents of the oasis murmured in the market, in the well, and in their living room. What can I say? The more days pass by, the more light I cry. Lucky or not, Chloe until this day is able to hold back the spirit of grief. Indeed, no one knows what mockery would have happened in, if he had cried in his agony of love. Fine. I will kill your husband. No! Why? Let's just make our situation more complicated. I have to leave you. No! Can a prayer kill? I don't know. But if it's certain, then the fate of Layla's husband is really bad. No. He didn't get murdered by Thais, but died alone. How can he kill when Kai says when he sold it all day in the cave? The desert animals, the stars, and the young children of the grass were the only sights. Tons of kilometers far from the life of the Oasis and Laila. Moreover, Kois never in his prayers prayed for the young man's death. He only always moaned and begged so that one day Laila comes to the cave and run away together from all the self esteem chaos and the honor of the elders of the Oasis. That morning, when Layla woke up from her sleep, the husband, who was the choice of his family elders, seemed like awake and like usual. She tried to touch her husband who had. That was the first time they touched, and it was the last touch for them too. in your heart over the loss? I don't care. Soon, I'm with my lover. <laughs> Layla, wait. Layla, wait. Where are you going? Hearing the birds reporting the incident, Quais ran madly through the desert to his lover. He came on running even though he was barefoot. The soles of his feet began to blister in the heat of the sand. His skin began to tear apart by thorny shrubs. However, Kois didn't care. He kept on running until the afternoon came and until the night fell. At midnight, he 
He broke through the back door. I stayed here before. Laila was waiting on the bench near a calm of cactus. Laila and Kai's finally met. However, Laila's cheerful face from the afternoon turned into a safe place. Laila, finally, we can run away together. It's me, Kois! the journey of her love. Her tears have run out. Her feelings have dried up. She had also cried out with joy when she already realized her husband had died. But with that, her joy became into an anti-climax. Joy has consumed all the energy she has, and she was thrown into a state of ignorance that made her lose her sanity. Right now, Layla is searching for the love that has guided her life. Unfortunately, she forgot. Currently, Layla is trying her best to remember the faces of the ideal young man that invited her to meet at night behind the clump of cactus. Unfortunately, her memory has become blurry. She has become soulless. No more feelings. No more hopes. Layla spent the whole day daydreaming in her room, waiting for her lover that she doesn't even remember to come and pick her up. to my doctor. He's my only doctor. Honey, please. Please come to your sense. Please come to your sense, honey. Oh, what a sad sight this is. The skinny body walked on the dusty sand. His clothes are tattered, dirty, and ripped. His body odor smells even worse than a male sheep. Ah! The black grime hey. filled the folds of his body. The young man romanced back and forth What's wrong? as if he was doing a ritual sa'i from the Stafa to Marwa Hill. Over and over again, not knowing day or night. Every time he arrives at the big house of his lover. Kois falls on the ground. 
raising both of his arms high, shouting for Lila's name. Lila! <laughs> no! <laughs> I love her. Anger can no longer be had by. Who allowed this poor young man to be here? Who? Say it! Me. What? I gave this young man permission to see Layla for one last time. What are you doing? Because of him, our daughter is dead. No. You're wrong. You have made our daughter suffer for love. You forbid their relationship. So that. Layla died because your own hands. Kurt, kill him! What? John! Suddenly, all the people in the room became silent, witnessing the death of Kois. The guard who drew his sword suddenly dropped the sword covered in blood from his hand. The guard fell on the ground too. The atmosphere was terrible. Lila's body was covered in white cloth stains with Kois's blood. Suddenly, everyone in the room fell. 
unable to see what had happened in front of them lie the bodies of the couple who are living in agony of love. Lila's father, mother, the guards, the residents all fell to their knees and began to cry over the end of Lila's tragic love story. He made a king become a servant, rich merchant become beggars, commander of war, despicable, was persecuted. He made a night bright. The ray of sun was covered in dark. The western wind stopped blowing. Water stops flowing. What is my pride? Not a king, not a merchant, not even a distant commander. What is my pride? Not a moon, not a sun, not even a wind. Even water is far. I'm just a traveler in love who got lost in this pathetic journey. I don't, I don't know, know where else, else to go. go. I, I don't, don't know anymore. Send your best train, train. Down, down the golden, the golden staircase, staircase from, from your, your throne. throne.